8.26 a.m. September 11, 2001. The World Trade Center. Where were you that day? Americans had just finished their summer. We were back to work, and on that beautiful, crisp, late summer morning, our lives changed. Our country changed. Our city changed. And our futures changed. Hi, I'm Joe Connor, friends with Ann Shockett, the president of the American Federation for Republican Women. On September 11, 2001, I commuted through the World Trade Center as I did every day. I'm here in the lot in the grounds. I was at my office when they saw the explosions out my window. I saw people jump. I saw papers flutter in the wind. My cousin Steve Schlag was murdered in the North Tower that day, only blocks from where I was standing, and only blocks from where my father was murdered a generation before, when the terrorists bombed Francis Tavern. My dad was Steve's godfather. When the terrorists crashed American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175 into New York's World Trade Center, they crashed our world as we know it. As the horrifying footage played and replayed on our TVs, the world was left to stare at a gaping hole, not knowing how to fill it. While people in the towers, passers-by, Rescuers, passengers, and flight crews of the two planes were buried in the rubble. Our memories have not faded. 2,753 people, including 344 firefighters and 11 law enforcement officers, lost their lives, were murdered that day in the opening salvo of the 9-11 attacks, later to be called the most deadly terrorist act in human history. Please join me and my friend Ann Shockett for a moment of silence for those who were murdered that day and for all victims of terrorism. Thank you.